Hello friends, this video on changes around us part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us start with the first examples, which is the most common example of paper planes. So when you look at the fun that you can have with a piece of paper, you can create a, a paper plane, you can create a paper boat, you can even create a paper birdie. So you see there are a lot of stuffs that you can create with the paper. Now whenever you create something like this with a piece of paper, do you think that a change happens? Of course, because earlier you just had one plain sheet of paper and now once you create these, you see their shapes changes, their sizes changes. So obviously there is a change. Now if I ask you whether this change, so we are sure that there is a change. Now if I ask you whether this is a reversible or irreversible change, so do you think that from this paper plane or paper board you can get back the paper? So can you create the paper once again? Yes, how? By unfolding it. So how did you create this plane? By folding it at certain play points. Now you just unfold it and stretch it and you get back the paper. So this is an example of a reversible change because you can reverse what had taken place. So you can change the paper to a paper plane. You can all as well change the paper plane to a piece of paper. So that's why it is a reversible change. Let's look at the next example. So here on the screen you see a couple dancing. Now what happens when you dance? So when you dance your um, your legs move, your arms move, your body moves. So when, when so much of movement happens in your body, do you think that a change takes place? Of course, because the posture of your body is changing every second. It is changing every minute. But what kind of change is this? Do you think it is a reversible change or an irreversible change? Of course, this is a reversible change because right now, let's say this girl, one hand is up and the other hand is down. The next moment she can bring it back. The next moment she can bring both of them down. So basically the hand movements keep changing and you can definitely come back to the original position. So this type of change is an example of reversible change. Let's look at another example where a glass is broken. So basically you are breaking the glass. So do you think there is a change involved? Of course, earlier you initials at the initial point, you had a complete glass bottle. Once you break it, you have many small, small pieces of glass. So basically the shape has changed, the size has changed, right? So obviously it is a change. Now if I ask you whether it is an irreversible change or a reversible change, what would you say? Now here you have a different catch. Now if you ask instantly, can you give me? So okay, I break the glass instantly. So there is a change. Now if I tell you, can you join these pieces of glass to make the bottle right now? Can you do that right now? No, you can't do. So that way, if you, if you are talking about the instant effect, so whether you can reverse it instantly? No, instantly we cannot reverse it. So that means it is an irreversible change. But if you look at it in the long run, maybe if I tell you that, okay, you collect all the pieces of glass, not only in your house, but in your community, and then all those glass pieces will be taken in the factory. And then from there, we can again create some glass bottles. So that way, so in the long run, it might be reversible, but in the short run, it is irreversible change. So if somebody asks you, what about breaking of glass? Now at this level, at your level, you are just starting with the basics of changes. So here you will consider it as irreversible change because immediately you cannot reverse it back. Immediately you cannot join the pieces of glass to form the glass bottle. So you will call it an irreversible change. But later in your higher class you will learn that since in the long run it can be reversed back. So in the long run we can consider it as irreversible because I mean, it is not that reversing it is impossible. It is possible, but possible only in the long run. So that means at looking at the instant uh, uh, effect, you can see that it is an irreversible change. Torn newspaper. So let's say you have a newspaper and then somebody tears it into pieces. What happens in this case? Do you think a change is involved? Of course, because the shape has changed, the size has changed. So therefore, there is a change involved. Now what kind of change is it again? 
Now this is very similar to the previous example. So instantly joining the pieces of the newspaper might be tedious. So you, we can call it as irreversible change in, in, in the instant run. So instantly it might be irreversible change but small small pieces of paper in the long run can actually give rise to a big piece of paper. So that means for now we will consider it as irreversible change. Breaking an egg. So you have egg, you just break it. So you, you apply some force and it gets broken into pieces. So what happens in this case? Of course there is a change, the shape has changed, the size has changed. So there is a change. And can you join back these pieces to form this egg again? Instantly, no. So again, this would also be an irreversible change. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.